hello. I'm at work. Um, yeah, I was kind of running behind. So it was 8.44. My first appointment is at 9 o'clock. Um, I just got here. And it's a mega set. A mega volume set, so... I don't really have time to talk to y'all. I have to speed it up and get set up. And I just keep walking in circles right now. So I will hopefully get some footage or something of the set that I'm doing because it's a brand new set. So that would be nice if I remember to do that because I'll be forgetting. So I will... See y'all when I see y'all. Y'all. I'm sorry, I didn't check in. Day is over. Okay, y'all. I had the most beautiful, refreshing conversation with my last client. It was the first time I met her. Um, she got a brow elimination, but that's besides the point. She's a real estate agent and she just has so much knowledge to share and just about like, like oppression, but what real estate has to do with that and why certain groups of people are more marginalized than others and it was just so like breathtaking to like learn all these things that you kind of already have a feeling about it's almost just like validates all those thoughts or all those claims or like that people have about why life is so hard for certain groups of people and it's crazy how much real estate has to do with that and I don't I didn't ever think about it that way like well I thought about it more small-mindedly like um, how not enough black people have homes and their families to pass down to their kids for generations and generations like other groups of people can um, and that's that's about as far as that goes well that's as far as that went for me but to hear all the things that like are stamped in history um that affect why black people don't have houses upon houses to pass down generation to generation to generation but i say that to say she gave me this book recommendation actually two one called stamped from the beginning and the other is called color of law and that one is more specifically about real estate but she said like those are two like must reads and i'm literally planning to see her again in two months for her like refresh so i'm i'm about to read those books like that's how powerful what she was telling me was that is literally like I've already downloaded the freaking audiobook and I'm gonna listen to it and I'm gonna buy the paper I mean the hard copy book too because just to have that um so yeah I don't know I just felt so like moved such like high energy from that conversation and I'm just over the moon about it so back to regular life though this is what I did today so I had a mega volume set this morning, girl. Couldn't get no pictures, was rushing. Um, because she hit me up yesterday saying like she still had some lashes on from her last place, or well, like from the lash, last, last lash tech, um, and she might need a removal. But in my mind, I was thinking like, oh girl, I could just pop those off. Like that's what I usually do. I don't usually have to do like a full blown removal, but when she came in they weren't like absolutely terrible by any means but they were super duper long and 
I just felt like by looking at them, a manual uh, removal, like uh, literally me picking them apart, was going to just be either painful or take too long. So I just decided to do the removal. So that ended up taking me like a solid 30 to 40 minutes um, because even after the remover had set, had been sitting on them for at least 10 minutes they weren't all just sliding out so I had to like still go back and like manually help the remover get in between that's how much adhesive was on there so that basically took she was running a little behind too so that kind of took up time and the remover took up like basically 40 minutes so at the end of it I probably I actually had like two hours to do a mega set which I don't even know how the hell I did that but I did and thank god and my next client ended up being late anyway so thank god those are like the perfect moments when you're already running behind you're just like please this is the day to be late if any day today please be late so that worked out thank god so I had the mega set there in the removal then the next appointment I had was a classic set and the next one was a hyperfill and then this last one was a brow lamination but yeah day was easy peasy um it went by really fast the last appointment just helped like catapult me into the to my evening like I'm feeling really good like I cannot wait to call my boyfriend and tell him about this conversation like that's how good that combo made me feel and I just love this feeling like I really love this feeling and this is the beauty of seeing different people every day you know and the beauty of one-on-one -on -one services like getting your eyebrows done, getting your lashes done, and getting a Brazilian, whatever you do. Like, that's the beauty of being able to connect with people one on one. Love it. So, this is just like a little stamp for me. Like, I don't know. I feel good. Don't know how else to say it. I feel good. And I'm going to dump my barber style put my tools in the sanitizer in the sterilizer i have to deposit money so i gotta do that unfortunately but it is what it is um and then i'll be going home so yeah see you girls later good morning everyone um this saturday i um What am I saying? It's Saturday. I'm on my way to work. I love... Not that I like... I don't love working on Saturdays. Let's just say that. Let me start there. <laughs> but... I love driving to work on Saturday mornings, y'all. It be no traffic at all. I love that. So... Um... That is like the most exciting part about going to work on a Saturday. So my first client was supposed to be a volume fill, but um, she hit me up in the middle of the night, which I didn't see, damn, which I didn't see until I woke up at 6.30 asking to reschedule. So got a late start and i'm okay with that i still my my first one is until 10 45 it's nine o'clock right now but i still am gonna go early like i still wanted to come in a little it's dark i still wanted to come in a little earlier because um i have to clean my glue tiles like they're they've been soaking in the acetone so i have to clean all of those which is a bunch of those. And I also need to put more cleansers out. So I'm like, I might as well do this so I don't have to stay later to like 
later on when I'm getting off. I don't have to stay late to finish this stuff. So that's the plan. Hopefully I even have time to do all of this. Um, it's nine, I should get there by 9.15. So yeah, that would give you an hour and a half. Yeah, so we should be good, should be good. That should be more than enough time, but you never know. I get in there and I start lollygagging, but um, I made me a breakfast croissant. Y'all, them croissants from Target. I know I said it already, girl, but they are good. Like, this was my last one. I'm not buying no more. Like, I didn't even bother looking on the back to see how many calories and carbs and shit a croissant has because I already know it's a lot I already know and I don't even want to upset myself because it's very good so this is gonna be my last one and so yeah I'm about to eat and I forgot what I was about to say oh I want to start putting more like actual like lash footage in here because a lot of it is just me talking to my talking to the camera honestly and in my car but the lighting, y'all, in my suite is just not that great. So I'll have to figure something out. But I'll see y'all when I get to work. Bye. Solo. Solo. sale like the last one this is the small size by the way like that's like this is basically like my travel size 
it's 1.3 ounces um this will still last people a good little while like i would say maybe if they're cleaning every day like they're supposed to it will last them probably like two months three months depending on how much they're using when they are using it um but i also have a large size which is like three times the size of this which of course will last them way longer um this size i retail for twelve dollars and then the large size i retail for twenty five dollars so really you get a better um like deal i guess it, when they buy the big ones because the larger size like i said is three times the size of this but it's only basically double the price if that makes sense so actually saving money by buying the bigger size but i do give on every new client's first full set they get a complimentary lash cleanser and a brush like a cleansing brush not they get a spoolie too but the actual brush to clean your lashes with i give them that complimentary on their first time because most of the time well, first of all, I want to give it to them as a thank you and also as a good starting point for them. Like, I'm telling you the aftercare and then I'm like, here, this is what you're going to use. So they walk away with like a better understanding of how to take care of your lashes because honestly, from the client standpoint, if you go somewhere to get your lashes done, you've never had lashes before. Um, and they just say, okay, make sure you're cleaning your lashes every day, and that's it. But they don't tell you what to clean them with, where to get the product to clean them with, which they don't sell a product, like an actual formulated lash cleanser for lashes on the shelf at Target, at Walmart, at the beauty supply store. So they can only get these products that are for lashes from you, essentially, unless they like... There's another, maybe a bigger lash, lash salon um, that sells these. So it makes it easier for you and your clients because then there's no miscommunication. Like, I'm like explaining the aftercare instructions to you. I'm giving you, giving it to you, what you need. So then there's no question, and with the intent that you have everything you need. So now you should clean them every day, you know? I can't expect people to follow the aftercare or clean their lashes um, diligently or with the right things to me if I don't give it to them or start them off. So that's why I give them this travel size one complimentary. So, and then when they run out, they can come back at their next appointment. Well, you know, they can come back and purchase it at their fill appointment you know it just makes it easier for your clients like don't make things hard for them you know everything should be easy going should be clear should be understandable um yeah because a confused customer it does not purchase like and when they when things aren't clear and concise it leaves the customer confused or the client confused and then they'll go elsewhere because they don't know like it's as simple as that so it is 10 15 i'm actually surprised i got all this done i guess, I, mean, I guess i had an hour and 30 minutes but i got all this done and it's fine i still didn't set up actually though for my first appointment so it's 10 15 i'm done i just have three more of these and then um then i'm gonna set up my station for my first client so that'll be out the way but then i want to vacuum i'm gonna try to sit like vacuuming and before she comes although it's kind of dumb for me to vacuum right now being that I'm about to work and his lashes are going to be on the floor again but whatever
Okay, so these are all finished. I'm gonna go put them on the shelf. Um, buy me a perfume like I just can't I, I really can't believe it like for no reason just because she's an angel and she's thoughtful and I think I wish she gave me a perfume like I'm not gonna get over that like what <sighs> um yeah so needless to say that made the end of my day um, my last client was her daughter, so I didn't really get to um, take a picture or anything or like really check in, but I feel like I say this every day. This is getting pathetic, but this morning I had the cancellation. Well, we're going to reschedule, but uh, then I had a hybrid fill and a hybrid full set and a brow lamination like same same appointment and another hybrid set so um today was an easy day i'm not really tired or anything but um let's see I'll tell you what I made today. I got a $20 deposit from a, an appointment that was booked, a $30 deposit from an appointment that was booked on, and these are booked online, um, a $15 deposit from an appointment booked online as well. Um, my hybrid fill earlier, um, it was 105 and she left me a $26.25 tip, so total $131.25. Um, can you see me? Okay, yeah. And my client that had the hybrid full set and the brown lamination, her total was $260 and she left me a $39 tip. Total coming to $2.99 even. And then the last um, appointment I had, her total was $170 and she left me a $25.50 tip, totaling $195.50. So in total today, I made $671.40. And if I would have had that appointment earlier, it would have been more, but that's not what I make every day like all my days are all over the place like it, it just depends on what I'm doing that day and you know if I get any cancellations blah 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 if people add on stuff while they're in their service like while they're at their appointment like if we have time so it really just depends um I've had hundred dollar days I've had $200 days, $300 days, so it's never the same, like, ever. Um, but yeah. Hello, my girls. It is Monday. Um, I am on my way to work, but y'all know I don't usually work Mondays. I mean, y'all don't know that, but I don't usually work Mondays, but... I just had to 
fill in for my other lash tech. She just had one appointment, um, and instead of canceling her, like instead of canceling the client, I'm just I just decided to go in and do her because it's just one classic full set, so it's not gonna take me that long. Um, I wouldn't have been doing anything probably, but either spending money or laying around the house, so it's okay. I don't mind. Um, after I'm done there, I need to go to the grocery store. I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, but now I'm second guessing going. I don't know, like the list that I put together for the stuff that I need or wanna buy is not even a lot. And I also, like all the items I can get elsewhere, except for the, the um, chimichurri empanadas. Trader Joe's the only one that got those, so. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything else I can buy at the regular grocery store, so I think I might just go to the regular grocery store instead of trying to push it and to go to Trader Joe's and stop at the normal store that I go to, so yeah. And I don't want to be out too late because I still want to clean up, like straighten up my um, house a little bit. I kind of want to wash like a couple like maybe a load or two of clothes and I want to clean the bathroom so I don't want to be out for a super long like I still want to get back in the house um, by four o'clock like that's what I'm shooting for and I'm praying that there's not gonna be a bunch of traffic when it's time for me to leave and come home like I don't feel like dealing with that today so I made it to work. Um, I made it here early, a little earlier than what I thought I was going to, but she's going to be here in, like, well, she should be here in like 10 minutes. Um, I just wanted to come on and say, if you're a beauty service provider, regardless, like whatever you do, nails, hair, lashes, body sculpting, like whatever it is. I highly recommend having a wait list. Like, even if you're not fully booked, that's okay. You can still have a wait list because in the event when people cancel, you have that wait list of people that wanted to get in with you, but the days that you currently had available at the time that they looked just didn't work for them. But it doesn't matter if you're fully booked or not. If I'm looking to get my hair done by you and I look on there and I'm specifically looking for Wednesday the 21st and you don't have that up there but you have the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th and they don't work for me. They just don't work for me. So I'm kind of like, oh man, well I can't get my hair done by her because that's the only day I can get it done. But if you had a wait list, I could write down, hi, I'm looking for the 21st, times between this time, whatever. And then it would send that to you so you would know that I'm looking for an appointment specifically on the 21st. And say you were booked on the 21st and then you get a cancellation the night before. Well now you have my waitlist form saying that I wanted an appointment on the 21st. So you can contact me and say, hey girl, somebody just canceled last minute. If you want to come in, you're welcome to come in boom, you just got another appointment. So you don't need to be fully booked to have a, um, a wait list. Like, Borg, this made me say this because just this morning, my client for Wednesday morning, she canceled and it was a classic full set. So that was $150, um, which is fine. Like I don't really like, I just learned to not connect myself personally to appointments. So I don't get like bummed out if I get a cancellation. And it was in advance, so it's okay. So, um, literally, she canceled. Then, not even an hour and a half later, I got a phone call um, and a text message from a client I never met before saying, like, hi, I want to get a lash lift intent and a brow lamination intent um, sometime this week. Can I be added to the wait list? I literally just had an opening an hour before. So, just because of the fact that she was, like, um, motivated enough to reach out 
I just secured a lash lifting tent and a brow lamination tent, a service that cost $240. So I actually ended up making more money from that cancellation spot that I just got, which is crazy. But I would have never known had I don't had I not had that the fact that I have a wait list, like the option to be added to a wait list, she would have never known to ask me to be put on the wait list. And then I would have never known that she was even interested in the appointment. So just a little food for thought. It can help you build your books. You don't need a wait list just because you're fully booked. You can have a wait list just solely for clients where they can only come on this one day. Or they can only come on that one day. Or they can only come in between these times. You know, so you just never know like what people are actually searching for on your site, on your booking site. So make it easy for yourself. You know, that's all I wanted to say, but I have to hurry up now because um, she should be coming in like literally seven minutes. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope it, the lighting is not super dark. Hold on, let me see. It's dark. Sorry, but I just had to get that out. Um, I will talk to y'all later when I'm going to the store. completely different than this child um what was I about to say um something else oh I'm going to work after I leave my um appointment my first appointment is at 12 15 so usually our appointment is like an hour somewhere somewhere around an hour so then it'll take me like 30 minutes to get to work from there because where I get my lashes done is I done developed seasonal allergies and I'll tell you what it was you start thinking like uh oh am I getting sick I'm feeling a little <clears throat> you feeling you gotta keep clearing your throat or if you you'll like randomly cough coughing is an allergy symptom because allergies make your throat itch so naturally your body is going to cough to try to alleviate the itch like it'll just make your body cough you know so you're not coughing because you're sick you're coughing because you have allergies and that's what happens to me so I know I mean nowadays I just take I try to take an allergy pill once a day so I know that um it's not gonna happen but when I don't take the allergy pill I know I'm doing <clears throat> all day <clears throat> or I'm like trying to avoid coughing y'all it's allergies or congestion is an allergy symptom now don't get me wrong you might be sick girl but a lot of the times you're not sick if it's allergy season you're not really sick you're just having allergy symptoms you know but yeah itchy nose like so sneezing allergy symptom because your nose naturally is itching so am I going the right way why am I over here then so fucking late dealing with this damn truck everybody was turning <laughs> so yeah that's my little rant um so yeah girl what i did how i realized okay wait this is allergies is i actually took allergy medicine um when i was feeling like that like for the very first time went away within like an hour stopped feeling like that didn't feel like that for the rest of the day that's how i knew all right it's confirmed it's definitely allergies um so try it i mean i'm not gonna say take medicine you know but if you think you might got allergies girl the allergy medicine work okay why people be trying to avoid taking allergy medicine and 
be coughing and sneezing and making these weird noises all day long. Girl, alleviate yourself. You know, take that, take that allergy pill. You be all right. Um, but that's it. I'm gonna get my um. I'm about to take mine right now because I can feel a little itch in my throat already, and I know as soon as I lay back to get my lashes done, I'm gonna start coughing, and I'm not trying to do that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm done. Okay, this is a weird angle. You probably still can't even see me. I just finished getting my lashes done. I'll show y'all in a second, but I have to redo my hair because if y'all have, if y'all get your lashes done, y'all know low ponytails, mid ponytails, buns, clips, all that is going to have to come out. And I already know that, which is why I wear a clip instead of like taking the time out to put my hair in a bun or something and then knowing that I'm gonna literally have to do this all over again. So, Ooh, should I be so thirsty at them? Um, so yeah, I'm going to fix my hair real quick. Yeah, I have three appointments. My first is a hybrid set. Second is a hybrid fill. Third is another hybrid fill. Um, So yes, today is actually going to be like a shorter-ish day. I'm working from basically noon to 6.30. So yeah. Um, which will be a nice little short day. So I'm not mad at that. Of course, a garbage truck will ride right next to me making all this noise and being stinky um yeah so this is what my lashes look like i get mega volume i feel like i think the longest length that i get is 13 but i've been going to her for so long now that we established doing 13 as the longest length over a year ago so now I just come in and she just does what she does and I'm satisfied every time so honestly I don't know what I get y'all like what exactly that she does but the last thing I remember ever asking for was just 13 as the longest length pretty sure this is a, uh like pretty sure this is a D curl though yeah pretty sure because I can just tell as far as like when it's on my eyes I can, I can tell that this is like a D curl or just a really strong CC curl but more than likely it's D curl okay you need to get done 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 and work come over yeah. we just need to slow the motion don't get out of way to no one long distance I need you when I see potential I just gotta see it though if you had a twin I would still true Alexa oh Fuck, this is not my Alexa speaker. <laughs> Forgot to check in. Like usual, y'all. I I don't be having the time in between. Like this morning I was running over, well, not this morning, but my first client I was running over just a little bit. And then I was supposed to have that gap. Remember I told you I was supposed to have that gap. And literally as soon as I checked my first client out, she walked out. My next client literally walked right in. Like literally even exchange so there was no 30 minute break I'm sorry um, she was already in the area so she just came here when she was done and I mean it ended up working out anyways like it was no no biggie um, and then I just 
finished her she just left and my next line was supposed to be here right now but she texted me and said she was gonna be 10 minutes late which is perfectly fine um because then i had a second to get on here um and i gotta use the bathroom real bad so it gives me time to do that because honestly i was just gonna hold it because i knew she was gonna be walking well i thought she was gonna be walking in like any second so i'll be all right um but yeah nothing special y'all the all the three clients i seen today are like regular clients so it's not nothing um spectacular or new or fancy that we're doing it's just the same you know the usual that they get um so not really that exciting of a day but it's cool i purposely made my tuesdays chill like this because coming off of being off for two days my energy usually is low on a Tuesday and I'm usually dragging my feet to get up, blah, blah, blah. So this is exactly why I did this. An easy, like, going day. Um, but yeah, that's it. so dark it's bright out um y'all i am on my way i'm up and out but your girl's being a little risky today um i didn't cook myself breakfast so i can leave out the house a little earlier so i have to get duck in today unfortunately um and I'm trying to go to Cosmoprof before I go to work. It's already 7.52 and my first appointment is at 9 o'clock. Do y'all think I'm going to make it? It's going to take me probably 30 minutes to get there. Now, at least the Cosmoprof is really close to um, work. So, it's about 7 minutes away from work. Um, so I'm just concerned because I just got in the car and come on Toyota, come on. Um, I just got in the car and child, I'm on E, so I need to get gas. If I didn't have to get gas, I wouldn't be too concerned, but now I'm concerned. So we'll see if I make it. Y'all, I did it, I did it, I did it. It was all good. It is 8.35 and I'm on my way to work now. Secured the bag and I even got a little extra. I got the tent and the developer that I use for um, lash lifts, lash lift and tents. I don't use that on the brows just because we're the brand that I use for the lashes, Refecto Sil, it does not last long on the skin for eyebrows. Like, it doesn't give a heavy skin stain, which is like, what the, what's the point if it's not gonna give a skin stain? You know what I mean? So, I love it for the lashes though. So, I needed to, I already had some, but I needed to, re, like I've been wanting to repurchase it just because, um, y'all, these products, they expire, so. I just felt like I wanted a new one. I don't know. Um, especially like if I haven't used a product in a long time, even if it's not expired, I still be thinking like, I want a fresh one. So I didn't have to get it, but I did anyways. Um, and I was able to do it in time. So I'm so excited about that. I got, anytime I go to Cosmoprov, I always get the barbicide from there. Um, and I always buy like three or four jugs just so I don't have to keep going back. And then I bought a, a big jug of, um, acetone. I've been falling by for I got options. And I don't want to tell you to drop it. But I don't want to play it. I just finished.
finished my first client. She did the lash lift and tint and the brow lamination and tint. Um, my next one is a classic fill. Doing a lot of brows today, I think. Um, yeah, next is a classic fill. Then after that is a henna, brow henna. And then after that is a brow lamination and tint. And then after that is a brow tint and upper lip wax. So that's my day for today. Um, I probably will be done around 5.30. And yeah, that's it. Now I'm about to cut up some, um, I wish it was like better lighting in here. The lighting is crazy in here and it's probably also has to do with the fact that I tinted my windows. I can't believe I did not know you could change the fucking exposure. Like, my mind is blown, bro. This is so much lighter than before. And the blinds are closed. Like, Never would have got this right. I'm really mad. Like, I just feel like all the footage I could have got that make it brighter. I just open the lines. Let's see if it. Oh yeah, definitely changed it for sure. Um, I just feel like all the stuff that I've been recording could have been way better quality, and I'm just irritated by that. But. Nevertheless, I figured it out, okay? So we're not gonna have to worry about this again. I'm about to clean up real quick, so I'm gonna try to do this real quick because I'll be trying to get it in and out. Like, when I'm done with work, I do not want to be here any longer. Like, not for any one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Okay, so I just usually, when I, whenever I'm waxing my lip, I use soft wax, so. Anytime I'm waxing my lip, anybody's lip, I break it up into three sections. So, um, I do. Oh, actually, no, I need two more. So, I do one strip on one side, so either the right side, and then one strip on the left side, and then I do one strip in the middle. Because if you look at your lip, most of your hair, mostly everybody's hair, is growing this direction on the right and it's going to the left on the left hand side and then the hairs in the middle between your nose and your keep as well usually is growing down so with waxing you want to follow that like you with waxing you apply the wax in the direction of the hair growth and then you rip it off in the opposite if I just did one long strip going this way or one long strip going that way you wouldn't you would have inconsistent results because wax does not work like that it's going to only come out if you apply it properly so that's it um and then for the top of my eyebrows i usually do one strip halfway like once i reach my arch and then another strip going down yeah and i'm only doing this because you know at a certain point your um at a certain point in time your the peach fuzz on top of your eyebrow like at the top starts to get out of hand so um to pre-cleanse, like basically to wipe off any oils from my face, I always use witch hazel. And yeah, that's that. And you can either go in and with like powder, baby powder or cornstarch is what I would use if somebody was like had really oily skin. But most of the time I can just take a dry cotton round and dry it and then that's fine all right if i make ugly faces don't laugh at me it's just because kind of have to
thickest eyebrows so I usually only like to do like I don't like to I only wax like basically everything once every like four or five months I don't wax it all the time like so sometimes I'll just like clean up the top or just clean up barely clean up the bottom because I really don't have room to be taken off hair that doesn't need to be taken off because my eyebrows already aren't super thick to begin with like I don't have a lot of hair I literally forgot to clean off my eyebrows with the witch hazel so prime example of what will happen if you don't remove the oil from somebody's skin you see the wax does not want to stick in that one area where you can see my skin so um, I can't do anything about that so I just if that happens I usually just go back in with more wax and usually that will fix that but it's just annoying that it just didn't do on the first time. So I don't know if you can tell because the lighting is not that great, but literally this is the eyebrow that I didn't do yet. And then this is the one I did. So even without me even waxing the bottom half, it still makes my eyebrows look way more like clean if that makes sense and personally i like it to look like more fluffy more natural at the bottom because my eyebrows are so sparse at the tail i don't have room to be taken out no hairs so i like to leave it like kind of like an imperfect line if that makes sense so now i'm just gonna do my other eyebrows Oh my god, y'all. Literally was about to forget again, yo. release oil and I buy that from um, Satin Smooth Pro and this is literally just to release that sticky residue um, if there's any like which most time there is because it's it's just the nature of wax and this literally gets it right off so I'm so glad I did that because I've literally been looking at the, those, like the tops of my eyebrows, like for the last week, saying, like, oh my god, I need to wax the top of my eyebrows so bad. And every day I either forget or I just don't feel like it. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my lip, too. Alright, all done. Then I take this and I throw it all in the trash. Turn off my pot. This is the the wipes that I use for Juvenate. I love those wipes. Um, and I get them from Universal UniversalCompanies.com, I think is what it's called. It's like a salon supply website. But um, whenever you're using disinfectant wipes, make sure y'all using gloves. If you don't got a glove or a hand, but whatever glove you're gonna be using wipe whatever down yeah make sure you're doing that because uh um if you don't this literally will eat at your skin like i used to be only um i used to not use the white i meant use the gloves 
and literally my skin was like peeling off of my hands, so not good. Keep your brow brushes to not look like this. When they're wet, you have to squeeze them and they'll look like that. Right? So squeeze when they're wet so then they dry perfectly and they'll dry like nice and to a point and i always put them in a sanitizer after i wash them so i don't think i said that i wash my um these are all the tools that i use today so usually i just keep them in here until i'm ready to run it at the end of the day like i'll put them in the barber side I'll wash them with antibacterial soap, then I put them in the barbicide for 10 minutes, then I take them out the barbicide, rinse them off, dry them off, and put them inside this, this sterilizer um, to be sterilized like for, at the end of the day. Um, good morning. I made it to work and um, it's 9.06. My client comes in, her appointment's at 9.15, but I see her waiting outside, so I'm sure she might come up a couple minutes early, but I'm just setting up. Today is like a super light day because um, I had a cancellation. Well, the client rescheduled, so they gave me like an hour and a half gap in my day. So now, instead of four appointments, I only have two, I mean, three. And the first one's a hybrid fill, and then I have that hour and a half gap. And then I have a mega touch-up, which is like, it's only gonna be an hour appointment. And then I have a classic fill, and that's an hour and 15 minutes, so. All in all, literally only gonna be working for like four hours total. And during the break, I plan on um, going to get, I'm, I plan on going to BJ's to get more snacks. Because I buy all the snacks from BJ's so I don't have to keep going. Um, and I hope I have time for that. I'm hoping I have time for that. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, okay. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected. And yeah, she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Okay, all right. My next one is at 11 minutes. It's 1154 and my next appointment is at 1230. And I left the shop at like 1105, 1106, something like that. Um, so yeah, this is not bad. I'm feeling it. But y'all, I was not supposed to be buying any more plants. I said that. Until we move, I can't buy any more plants because I legit don't have anywhere else to put a plant because in our apartment, we only have basically one window in the bedroom and one window in the dining room. And so our apartment does not get much lighting. Um, and I've literally run out of window sill space for plants, but I could not pass these plants up. BJ's, I'm not gonna lie, 
they don't take that great of care of their plants that's in there but and i didn't even expect to find any that didn't go in there for plants y'all know i went to bj's for snacks but these two little cute plants that were just i mean they were overpriced because they're literally like malnourished so they were 13 dollars a piece which really i think they should have been 5.99 but that's neither here nor there um but the foliage on them were just so beautiful. Like I've never seen them before. So what I'm gonna do is try to um, nurse them back to health. Cause from what it looks like is they have a lot of, yes, they do have dead leaves on them, but um, I'm sorry. I always do this where I have the windows down and it's super loud in the background, but um, they do have some dead leaves on them. So right now they don't look that great but the soil is like rock hard dry so i'm pretty sure and the one of them is like drooping so bad but i'm pretty sure when i clip off all the dead ones and water it it should be fine like i bought them because majority of the leaves were still green and looking good if they weren't i wouldn't have bought it because that just means most of the plant is dead it's probably just already on its last leg but i don't know if i'll have time to do that before my client comes but i would like to because y'all they look so thirsty like i just feel so bad for them so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and i'll probably check back in if i get to do that before the client my client comes then i will um show y'all of course and then i'll show y'all what i ended up even though I recorded it, I'll show y'all what I ended up getting for sure from BJ's. I'm done, y'all. I'm about to clean up and I'm gonna show y'all what I got because I was pushing it earlier. Like, remember I told y'all my appointment was at 12.30? I didn't get back in here until 12.20. So I had no, and I had to use the bathroom, like I had no time. So, um, Yeah, I had no time to show y'all what I got from BJ's and show y'all my plants and what I'm gonna do to them. Okay, so I have 20 minutes to do this. So, first of all, I ended up getting, um, Cheez Its. This comes in a 45 pack. I think I showed the price on there when I was actually in BJ's. I get that because, I mean, I go to BJ's in the first place because I don't have to buy it often. Like, if I buy everything, I won't have to buy it again for like another three months, I think. So then I usually get this just like as a variety, as like sweet and salty stuff. So I like that. Um, usually I buy. The sour patch the 200 pack of the mini sour patches and swedish fish pack but i still have like a bunch left from the last time i bought it so i didn't need to and then i usually buy some chocolate assortment because for the girls who like chocolate um i've never bought this one though usually my favorite used to be the one that would come with mr good bar um, the special dark, the regular milk chocolate, and then it was another one that would come in there. But they don't sell it anymore, so I don't know what that's about. So I got this instead. Because before I bought the one that has Kit Kats, Reese's, the cookies and cream Hershey's, and the regular Hershey's, which wasn't really a hit. So maybe the girls will like. Yeah, I don't know. This, this, this might not go that well either but they don't sell the ones that I like anymore so that was it that I got for snacks um and then I'll show y'all I think I showed y'all a little bit while I was in the store but this is the first plant I bought and look at this leaf it's just so pretty so um you can see it has like dead leaves and all the leaves are like looking womp 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 this is the like indication that it like desperately needs to be watered same thing with this one this one honestly looks a little worse but look at this 
leaf pattern like what the hell this shit is like i've never seen no plant like this before so later on i'll probably like oh, another day i'll probably figure out what kind of plant this is like from those plant apps but what i plan on doing is plucking off all these dead leaves and usually when they're dead you literally just pull it and it comes out that's how you know it's all right, all right this is dead if it gives you some little resistance i probably would just leave it and let it die or you can cut it off but that's another one so i'm gonna sit here and do that with these and then i also have i've got a little pan of water because i'm gonna take these out and bottom water them just so the water will get to the roots first too sexy for the lights too sexy for that jack yeah yeah i'm too sexy for this chain too sexy for your game too sexy for this First of all, you can literally see the roots coming out. This plant really needs to be repotted. Once your roots start coming out like this, it's ready for a bigger pot. But you don't want to put it in a pot that's too big. So I'll probably wait. I won't repot it probably until we move and it gets to be like in its real home. But I don't know if you can literally hear how dry it is. Like it's so crispy. So I'm going to sit it in the water and let those do its thing just a little tip for if you use barbicide barbicide is technically a complete immersion disinfectant meaning your tools need to be completely immersed in the solution in order to be a hundred percent disinfected so that's why I like the really tall one. I think this is the 32 ounce one um, because it completely covers all the tools because you have to think about it. Even though we're using tweezers and really the only part that's touching the, the client's lashes is the point of the tweezers, but we are touching the tips of the tweezers. So the entire, our hands aren't like completely germ free, no matter if we use hand sanitizer or wash our hands right before. In some way or form, we're still gonna have some germs on them, and we touch the clients and put the iPads on them. Like, so our fingertips have their, you know, germs. Not in a bad way, but it has, we've touched them. So then when we touch the tweezers, those are now technically soiled or contaminated, whatever you wanna call it. So the entire thing needs to be in the barbicide in order to be completely disinfected because if you just put the tips of it or half the tweezer in you just only disinfected the tip of it you didn't disinfect the entire tweezer hello i'm in my bathroom i am about to attempt to give myself a blowout with a Dyson Airwrap dupe. Well, is it the Dyson Airwrap? I know it's like the tool that the Dyson Airwrap is, but not. I'm not using the curl attachment. I'm about to try to give myself a little blowout without having to flat iron my hair. That's the goal. But my roots are curly. I'm not. I'm not worried about my ends at all because my ends are literally straight. So we'll see if I can get my hair to or my roots to be straight like basically like a silk press without having to do a silk press but like volume y'all can clearly see my give you actually let me get in the camera my two different textures like this is the curly part of my hair and then the ends are legit straight um I recently got my hair cut because I'm experiencing like crazy shedding and breakage. Um, so yeah, my like I have like a blunt cut basically. I got like honestly, it was like three and a half to four inches cut off of my hair. So. But I'm not mad though. I actually like the cut. Like I think the cut is cute. Um, it's just annoying the reason why I had to get it cut. Like I'm not gonna let it 70% dry. But it's literally drying already. Like this 
I guess would be like 50% dry. Um, I'm going to use this heat protectant. I've had this literally forever. I get this from Sally's. Boom. Ooh. I'm going to just put the bio silk on this whole section though. And I'm going to use literally that much. Which is probably too much because I don't got but five strands of hair. So. I really hope this turns out right because it is 9.50 p.m. and 10.30 is my bedtime. So. I hope I can get this done within 30 minutes. All right. So the few videos, cause I really didn't see that many videos of um, people with like natural hair using this. But the one video I did see, she did small section so that's what I'm gonna do I've never actually even used a round brush so I hope this goes well it's only three settings on here I don't even know how the Dyson what the Dyson settings are but it's literally just one through three I'm just gonna put it on the highest part Okay, that, that's cute. I mean, I'm, oh no, I gotta hit my roots in the back. Hold on, cleave it all out. I just gotta hit my roots, but that did work. Okay, I had to change because the neck of my robe was wet from me washing my hair, so I just felt like that was not good. It's fine how I'm doing it, but I want to like get my roots all done basically first, like to where I'm satisfied with how the roots feel, and then go back and put the little curls in it. Okay, y'all, so. I just went through and blow, basically like tried to blow dry the roots. That's why the ends look puffy still. Um, because then now I'm going to go back and try to hit it with the little, try to roll it and get the little bump in it. But, quick little thing. This shit is cheap, okay? This little piece fell out mid-blow drying, child. Um, so... Walmart will be hearing from me. Mm -hmm, yep. I'm going to show them a picture. But I don't know if y'all can see. My roots are not bone straight. But they're like blown out enough where they're not. you don't feel like a bunch of crinkles. In some areas I do. But at this point it is 10, 16 and I'm ready to wind down i might even extend my bedtime to 11 o'clock so i can get a little hookah in but um yeah so now i'm gonna go through and try to hit it with the little curl tool but all in all though i do like how full it makes my hair look because i have naturally fine hair and on top of that my hair is like going through shedding and breakage and 
So just lately I've been losing a lot of hair. So I do like that part of it because it makes it look like super full. Like I got thick hair. I mean that I'm sure with the plus the cut. Like plus having the blunt cut I'm sure does that too. But now I'm just going to go through and... It's giving Michelle Obama. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep. I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm really feeling it. The big question would be, what is this going to look like in the morning when I take it down from being wrapped all night? Is the curls going to be there? Probably not. We'll see. Okay, y'all. I'm done. It's cute. It's bouncy, but it is not flat. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But it is not, um, it's definitely not going to give you a press. I mean, if your hair is not curly, this probably will be, like, amazing for you, actually. But, um, yeah, if you got textured hair, this is still cute. Like, I will wear my hair like this, definitely. Um, and I love the body, but... Yeah, I, I just would want my, in a perfect world, my root to be straighter than this. But it is 10.33, so I did that in 40 minutes. That's not bad. I mean, 40 minutes after I um washed my hair, though. But yeah, tell me what y'all think. Overall, I like it. Honestly, you you might even get better results if you actually had the real Dyson. That that's probably also a factor. Um, but like I said, this is cheap. I got it from Walmart. It was forty dollars, um, and I literally only bought it because I wanted to try this attachment. That's literally the only reason why. Which is also why I knew I wasn't going to buy the air wrap because. I didn't even know if this was even going to work for me. So why would I buy it? Um, y'all probably will see my hair. I want to wrap it. And you'll probably see what it looks like. Honestly in the vlog after this. Because I am going to close this one out here. Like it's already Friday night. So I can't keep going. I have to just stop it. So I will see y'all in the next video.